All right, so we got some people here in the video from a physics workshop here. A bunch of geeky physics people, and I'm in here too. I think you can see me there somewhere. So we've got a bathroom scale, and since we're at the uh, Hilton Anatole in Dallas, we're going to see. We're going to talk about what actually happens here on the elevator. So here we go. So we're looking at the scale, and remember that the weight is not changing. But let's see what happens on the scale. Okay, ready? Going down. Oh, that was like 15, 10 pounds at least. We got less. Now it's back up to, that's normal, right? So that's zero acceleration. So the weight and the normal force are equal. But now when we stop, the normal force must be greater and it will feel heavier. So let's see. Almost down. How many more do we got? Oh, fourth. Whoa, dude. That went up, that went up like almost 20 pounds, didn't it? There we go. All right. All right. But you said the weight. You said the weight is not changing. No, the weight is not changing. One more time. One more time. So oh, that the mass up? is not changing. No, let's talk about that. Let's talk about this. So here we go. So I can talk to myself over okay, here. Okay, but, but, but go ahead. watch me going up. Ready? Yeah, no, watch. So, so the elevator, so you can see this backwards. But let's talk about this. His weight is not changing. His perceived mm -hmm. weight is changing. Uh, the normal force is changing, and he felt uh, heavier, didn't you? I did. You felt heavier, but you weren't. You're not heavier. Gravity's not uh, changing. The acceleration to gravity is the same. Whatever's but you, under me is, is changing. changing. Yes, yeah. the pressure on the scale. And now when it gets now when it gets lighter, there's everybody. Turn around, where everybody can see it. That means it. So as you turn, so as you whoa whoa whoa, it got less. Oh. There we go. We're gonna go down one more time. So remember that. Uh, can you hold this right here? So here we go. So we'll talk talk through this. So you've got the force of weight going this direction. Can you see it? And you've got your normal force going this way from the scale. This must be constant. And so as the as you as you're accelerating upwards, this one must be greater, so you feel heavier. When you're accelerating downwards, this one must be smaller than your weight, and you feel lighter. And that's why we get a big change there. There we go. It's perfect. All right. Hey. See you guys. Hey. Bye. Bye. Uh, you've been in the elevator before, and as you're going up, you feel heavier. As you're going down, you feel lighter. It's a little bit more complicated than that if you really have paid attention. Um, but I, I'm going to show you that in the classroom and show you actual numbers. So right here we have an electronic scale. Let me just kind of get it woken up there again. Electronic scale with an eraser on it going up over here to some pulleys. This is mostly just to keep this out of the way. And then here I have a bucket that I can put some masses in it. So that, that object reads about 21 grams. Okay, now watch what happens though when I put a bunch of masses in here. I actually have to put quite a few because there's significant resistance here. So let's load some stuff up here and see if that works. Nope, all right, so that will see. Somewhere, this is actually going to start to move here, ready? Now you notice that red somewhere around 25 maybe? Let's look at it again, ready? 22, 26 or something like that, right? All right, let me see what happens if I take out a little bit of mass so that it's not accelerating as fast, ready? About 24, but you see that that's higher. The weight of the object has not changed, it's just accelerating upwards. Well, what if I take out that mass? See if you can read that again. It should read the same, what's there. But let me take out a whole bunch of mass. Okay, ready? And it went down, didn't it? The mass is in. Here we go. It goes up. Take the masses out. One more. goes down. Now let's pause. Imagine you're on an elevator. There's Slim Jim there on the elevator and this is the scale right there. Well if we draw a force diagram for Slim Jim, he has the force of gravity pulling down that we call weight and the scale pushing up that we call the normal force. Normal force is anything normal to a surface or perpendicular. Well this isn't changing. The force of gravity is very constant up to thousands of miles above the earth. It, you know, I can't remember what it is at the International Space Station, but it's like 8.9 meters per second squared, the acceleration due to gravity. It doesn't change that much. 
However, the force underneath him might change if he's accelerating upwards. I'll use a different color here. If he's accelerating upwards, well, then the normal force must be greater than the force of weight. If he's accelerating downwards, sorry, let me write that down, the normal force is greater than mg, and you feel heavier. If he's accelerating downwards, then mg must be greater than fn, and you feel lighter. Again, once again, your, your weight does not change. What changes is the force underneath you, which is read by the scale as we saw back there.